Join Kids Hat Family. Hey you, we have a gift for you. <laughs> Jack, look at him. He looks even funnier now. You have hurt me in the head. I will complain to the teachers. No one would believe you. What's going on here? They hurt me in the head and look what they did to my shirt. Jack and Tofu, get out of my class now. You're suspended for a week. I'm giving you a zero in the next project. But but miss, we are sorry. It was a mistake. Please get out of my class. Boys, what's going on? We heard the new kid in our class and the teacher suspended us for a week. Oh no, this is so wrong. You should never hurt anyone for fun and you will even miss your class tests and projects. What have you done? Uh, let's go home, Tia. I regret hurting the new boy. It's good that you regret it and won't repeat it. Do you want to hear a story? Yes, please, Tia. The Elephant and the Tailor Once upon a time, there lived an elephant in the village. Every day, the elephant used to stroll around and the villagers gave him food and water. The kids even loved playing with the joyous elephant. Mr. Elephant, can I slide on your trunk? It looks so big and beautiful. Yes, my dear. You may climb up and slide. Whee! This is fun. Can we ride around the village? Yes, my lovely kid. Hop on. Mr. Elephant, you are so lucky. Everybody loves you. Really? But I don't think the tailor at that shop likes me. He always gives me only a bite of his food and that too with a lot of anger. Oh no! That's so bad! Come, let's go to the tailor. Maybe he will give me more food today. He seems like a good man. You are so kind. Let's go to the tailor's shop and see how he reacts today. The kid and the elephant walked to the tailor's shop to see his reaction. Like every day, the elephant extends his trunk with delight. But the tailor pricks him with a needle this time. The poor elephant cries in pain and runs away. Why do you come here every day, huh? I don't like sharing my food. Go away! You are a bad person. I wish somebody hurts you one day like you hurt the poor elephant. Go away, kid. Don't waste my time or I will prick you too. <laughs> the sorrowful elephant soaks his trunk in the cold pond water to ease his pain. Suddenly, he thinks of a revenge plan. On the next day, as usual, the elephant went around getting blessings and food from people. As soon as he was about to reach the tailor's shop, he went to the pond and filled his trunk with mud. He casually walked back to the tailor's shop and extended his trunk with grace. So you are back again, huh? I told you not to come here. I can't share my food with you every day, you stupid elephant. Go away. The elephant sprayed out the mud water on the tailor and his shop. The tailor screamed with helplessness. Here is your lesson, sir. I hope you never hurt anybody for fun ever again. I wish no one would come to your shop for anything. The elephant walked away with grace while the poor tailor, covered in mud, looked at his ruined shop and cried. Oh no, 
Why did I hurt the poor animal? I have learnt my lesson. I will never hurt anybody, even for fun. After the incident, nobody in the village talked to the tailor ever, nor did they give their clothes to him for stitching. The poor tailor now had no friends and no work. Wow, that was a great story, Tia. I guess the same happened with me when I heard the new boy. I regret it now. I promise I won't hurt anybody ever. That's like a good boy, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Hat Family. Subscribe here.